All right, everyone, welcome to the shenanigans. We are streaming live yet again uh, for Wednesday stream. I still haven't come up with like a solid name for the Wednesday stream yet. Um, but once I get moved over the next couple weeks, I'll probably come up with a more steady stream schedule. And then I'll actually come up with names like, you know, Wednesday, whatever, something along those lines. Um, so today we're just going to be opening up some packs. Uh... I got a lot of random packs that I'm kind of clearing out. Like I said, my wife and I are going to be moving over the next week or two. Uh, so I'm trying to clear out as much space as possible. And then it's easier to store cards when they're not wrapped up in packs, at least in my opinion. It's my excuse for opening packs. Don't judge me. So today we're going to be opening up a bunch of packs. I have... <clears throat> it's mostly a mix of X and Y and Sun and Moon. We've got a few uh, X and Y breakpoint packs few fates collide packs which i made the mistake of opening some of these fates collide packs off camera just for fun and i wound up pulling a mega alkazam ex uh i don't think it was the full art or actually no i think it was the full art so i had better luck off screen with those so maybe some of that luck will carry on today uh and then like i said a bunch of sun and moon base set and a few other sun and moon packs nothing terribly <laughs> exciting today again i'm just kind of clearing out what i have uh loose i do still have the sealed uh, booster pack for vivid voltage and darkness ablaze um, I think, I'm not certain yet, I think I'm going to open one of those tomorrow. Tomorrow is actually the anniversary for my YouTube channel, so I completely forgot that when I recorded the video that's posting tomorrow, um, so I'm thinking I might do maybe a live stream on YouTube tomorrow evening. Um, I've never streamed on YouTube before, so I don't know entirely how it works, if it's the same as Twitch as far as setting it up, um, or if I have to go through another process. But we'll figure it out, because again, I want to do something to celebrate the year of my channel, um, and all the progress that we've made on there. Um, my Twitch channel is a lot newer than that, so we'll have a while yet for the anniversary for that. Um, so be sure to stick uh, stick around for that. Um, I will post the YouTube uh, link in the chat here. Um, and I'll do that periodically throughout this stream, so that way you guys can uh, follow me on there, subscribe on there. Um, because like I said, we're going to be doing a booster box opening tomorrow. As far as I'm aware, that's the plan. We're going to try and do it anyways tomorrow evening. Um, I guess would be probably maybe 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock Eastern um, in the evening, that is. Uh, just because I work in the daytime and I can't stream <laughs> in the middle of the day when I'm working. So, um, But yeah, I wanted to do something to celebrate the anniversary of my channel. Because we've made amazing progress, guys. Um, like, I, it's, it's stunning to me how far we've gotten on that YouTube channel. We're up to, I'm checking right now, we're up to 58 subscribers. That is a lot more than I was expecting to achieve in a year. So thank you all uh, for that, everyone who subscribes to me on there. If you're not subscribed to me on there, what are you doing? <laughs> Subscribe on there. Help me out here, guys. Um, I mean, you know, I, I tease, I joke. You know, you don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. I know it's just going to clutter up your, you know, YouTube stream with a bunch of videos that you may or may not want. Because, again, my YouTube channel is a lot more diverse than what I do on Twitch streaming. I do a lot more gaming on my YouTube channel. Um, I have done a lot more pack openings more recently on there as well. Um, but, yeah, so if you can follow me on there, great. I, my objective is to get to uh, the partner program by the end of this year. So that's 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours total in this year. I think we can do it. Like like I said, I was kind of impressed by the amount of progress that I made in the past year on the YouTube channel, um, and I think it can just grow and grow from there. So if you guys help me out on there, share it with wh whoever you want to, um, you know, and I, I appreciate all of you. Um, so yeah, so I think that's enough of an intro for today. Let's get to some packs. Um, I'm going to start with uh, Breakpoint. Kind of go in like chronological order that they came out in again i don't have a lot of x and y just because they're harder to find um basically all of these i got out of um tens or other like kind of conglomeration boxes these i don't think i actually got loose um just because i don't know i haven't seen them anywhere but um yeah so breakpoint uh i did get lucky i opened some of these i think it was on my new year's stream um and i pulled one of the uh the mega gyarados cards um which actually I intend to get it graded. It's not terribly valuable, but I I don't know. It's a really cool card. I think I'm going to get it graded just for fun. Um, so with X and Y, here's the code card. Focus. Um, X and Y, obviously there is not uh, energy. Um, and the card trick is only three to the front, so we don't get to guess the energy. But let's get going. We have, uh, we have a Nuzleaf. Okay. A Pokemon Catcher. A Special Energy. A Petal. A Rattata, a Numo, 
an Electabuzz, a Ferroseed, a Reverse Shelter, and a Non-Hollow Clefable. All right. Not a bad start, not a bad start, nothing crazy valuable there, but again, I only have a handful of these packs anyways, so I'm not expecting a miracle out of it, you guys. Uh, my phone is buzzing like a crazy person, what is going on here? Uh, okay, cool, yeah, yeah. So, like I said, we're moving, so we're still in the process of getting all of the, like, paperwork and stuff, they're just sending me some documents to sign, um... But it's all good news so far. All good news. We haven't had any issues yet. Um, the new apartment looks really nice. It's a little bit bigger. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to spread out a little bit more so that my setup won't be quite as clustered uh, or cluttered. Um, and then that way, like I said, what I would like to do is uh, make it so that I have a camera on the cards down here pointing downwards and then having the face cam separate that way i'm not having to go back and forth between this camera and a different camera uh again x and y no guess the energy but three to the front what have we got here so we have a great ball a heat more a pokemon catcher a glammy owl a ducklet a temple a shelter hone edge a reverse glammy owl and a non-hollow golduck no hollows yet, guys. That's all right. Like I said, I already pulled some good stuff from this uh, set uh, last week or what was it, the week before on New Year's. Um, so I can't really complain. Open it up. Er, don't rip the cards. Oh, God. Yikes. Yeah, you think one of these days I'll actually learn how to... Oh, that was weird. That was backwards. <laughs> one of these days I'll actually learn how to... Uh, open the packs properly without ripping them, but we'll see what happens. Uh, okay, so again, three to the front because it's X and Y. Let's see what we've got. Uh, we have a delinquent. All right, that's not very nice. A Nuzleaf. Oh, a Gabite, that's cool. A Numo. Aw, oh, that's a really cute Shanks. A Ducklet. Hone Edge again. Skrelp. A Reverse Hollow Hone Edge. And a Holographic Slow King. All right. I dig it. I don't know if that's particularly valuable, but hey, we got our first hollow of the day, guys. That is a rather nice looking card. Let me uh, sleeve that up real quick. I don't know, again, if it's terribly valuable or not, but it's a nice hollow, so it deserves a sleeve, right, guys? I think most hollows deserve sleeves, but that's just my two cents. Let's take a, another look at that. First decent pull of the day. Nice hollow slow. And he's chilling, man. He's relaxing up there on that rock. He's He's having a great time, as they say. All right, so we're going to put that there. Moving on to Fates Collide. Like I said, <laughs> I made the mistake of opening some of these off-camera uh, just for fun with my wife, and um, we actually had some pretty impressive pulls. Yeah, I got the... Uh, I think it's the Mega Alkazam. Oops. Oh, what did I just do? I broke my thing. Uh, That's not Fates Collide. Fates Collide. Sorry, I got the market price thing up here. And it is fighting me every inch of the way. Okay. Uh, I believe this is the one. Yes, it was the Mega Alakazam EX full art card uh, from XY Fates Collide. It's literally the third highest card. Um, there's only an Alakazam EX Secret Rare and an Umbreon EX uh, full art that are more valuable. So somehow I got super lucky and pulled that off camera. Maybe I can continue that luck here? I don't know. My luck has been really bad recently, guys. I don't know if you watched the past couple of openings, but I've pulled Jack Squat. Uh, I pulled a lot of great cards on my New Year's Eve stream, so I don't know if that was all of the good luck I had for 2021, but hopefully, hopefully we can start pulling some good stuff. All right, here's a code card for you guys. This is uh, X and Y Fates Collide. We, uh, good grief, one, two, three to the front. We've had some rough luck with cards recently. Uh, I've had two Champions Path Elite Trainer boxes with basically zero good pulls. Um, so it's been really, really a rough time so far. So with any luck, things will pick up here. Energy Pouch, Strong Energy, Riolu, Gothita, Wismer, Minchino, Vullaby. Hey, a Reverse Hollow Ammonite. That's pretty cool. And then an Amistar. Okay, that fits. That's appropriate. Interesting. That's a pretty cool Ammonite card. I, I dig that. I'm not a big fan of uh, Ammonite as far as the false Pokemon goes. I was always a Kabuto, Kabutops type of fan. Uh, but, you know, 
whatever floats your boat, guys. That's the wonderful thing about Pokemon cards is there's there's a Pokemon for everybody. Doesn't matter what type you like. Um, doesn't matter what type you like or what sort of animals you like. Uh, there, there's a Pokemon for everyone. So find a Pokemon you like and just, you know, love them. That's what this game's about, man. It's just about having fun. Like, I've been, I've been getting really frustrated recently, to be honest. Um, because I... And even today, I went around looking for cards. And everywhere is sold out. I mean, everywhere. Like, not just the, the stores where you expect to find them, like Best Buy, Walmart, Target. But, like, Michael's. Michael sells Pokemon cards, guys. But even they are sold out. And it's just, it's absurd. And it's frustrating because I know it's people like me, I guess you could say, who are hardcore collectors. I'm not exactly a hardcore collector yet, but I would like to start collecting more seriously. Um, but it's these kinds of people who are going to these stores and just sweeping the, the shelves. And, you know, I understand they're doing it because they want to get the best cards, but so does everyone else. Leave some cards for other people, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to have to resort to getting all of my cards online at this point. Which sucks, because, you know, you pay an arm and a leg for shipping, but, you know, what can you do? Ben Spoon, Mancino, Bronzor, Snubble, Burmy, Cottony, Reverse Jigglypuff. Hey, another Mega Alakazam EX Full Art! That's two of those that I've pulled! Hell yes! Hell yes, guys! Let's sleeve that up. That's two of those! How on earth did I pull two of those guys? That's amazing. I'm spitting everywhere. I apologize. Let's take a look at that guy. Hold on. Focus. Come on. Focus, camera. You piece of... This is what I get for spending $800 on a camera. Look at that. That is a gorgeous card. And that's the second one I've pulled. Holy crap, guys. We're off to a great start today. I don't know what y'all think, but... Huh, that's amazing. Oh, man. That makes me super happy right there. Because, like I said, I pulled that one off camera, just on a, you know, random luck, but to pull a second one, to pull a second one for you guys, that's amazing. That is amazing. Holy crap, guys. We're off to a great start. Like I said, the, la the last couple openings have been really, really mediocre, but that is, mm, that is fantastic. I'm going to have to pull out the other one. Give me two seconds. I just want to, just want to take a look at, in comparison to see, uh... Which one's in better condition? Because again, I, I'll probably get it graded just because why not? It's a really cool looking card. Even if it's not terribly valuable. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I've pulled two of those now. Okay, so this is the one we just pulled today. Focus, focus. Come on, focus, you piece of junk. Oh, uh, you're not going to focus? Okay, fine. We'll try We'll try do both of them. Yeah, so this one is the new one. This is the one I pulled off camera they both look pretty great honestly the centering i think the centering is better on the new one the one i pulled the other day it looks like it's a little further left than it should be but yeah this one looks pretty pristine that's fantastic guys holy crap so yeah i i feel like i'm gonna get that one graded it's not terribly valuable like i said but it's a really cool card and you know if you get it graded it keeps it protected too and then maybe you know a couple years down the road the price might go up and maybe i'll sell it then you know that's fantastic holy crap so all right well hey x and y packs have been really good to me let's keep going i can't complain about that shoot all right yeah two good pulls so far guys two good pulls so far yeah fates collide has been really fantastic pack for me here's the card backwards Cannot complain. One, two, three, three to the front, not four because we're still on X and Y. <laughs> Getting all mixed up here. No guess the energy, so let's go. There's a Ha Lucha, an energy pouch, a Wormadam, a Riolu, a Binacle, a Solosis, a Splink, Gothita, a Bronzong Break card, and a Grump Pig. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, I have not seen too many of these break cards. I know they're not the most popular. But that's still pretty cool. That's a pretty cool card. So let me sleeve that real quick. Just, just again, for me, it's not necessarily about the value of the card, whether or not I sleeve it, but just if it's cool, you know? All right, let's sleeve that up. Hey, Crosty86, thank you for following. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. Let's take a look at this guy again. 
Yeah, that's a pretty cool card. Again, I'm not too familiar with the break cards. I know that was kind of a, a really brief thing with X and Y. Um, and I know that they weren't the most popular, but I still think that's a pretty neat card. And again, X and Y. Dude, these packs have been great to me. I wish I could get more of them, but they are pretty hard to find. Um, I really, like I said, I'm a fan of the XY Evolutions. It's just a reprint of the base set. Hey, Krasty, how you doing, man? I appreciate you following me, hanging out. Oh, gosh, I am massacring this pack. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, X and Y packs, man. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I've been, I put up the codes after uh, each pack, so yeah, you're welcome to uh, take them if you can get them. Um, but again, I, you know, I kind of go quickly with them because there's, you know, well, right now there's not a lot of people, but usually there's a fair amount of people trying to grab them all at once. So I got to try and keep things moving, you know? All right, no guess the energy because again, this is uh, X and Y. So we got Wormadam, uh, Fossil Excavation Kit, Fairy Garden, a Carbink, a Deerling, a Snivy, a Jigglypuff, Fennekin. Hey, it reversed Mr. Mime. Is that a reverse rare? Uh, I can't even see that. Oh, yeah, it is a reverse rare. All right, I'll take it. And then what is the actual rare? A white Kyurem. It's hollow. I have no idea what that Pokemon is, but hey, that's like three out of four hollows, guys, for X and Y packs. That is pretty sweet. I can't complain about that. Let me sleeve this guy up real quick. I'm going to take another look at it. I don't know. What, what is a white Kyurem? Does anybody know? Because, uh, again, if you're not familiar with me or my channel, I kind of fell off the map for Pokemon after the fourth generation, and I picked it back up with, um, I think it was seventh generation, which was Sun and Moon. Um, so my guess is this is probably either from uh, Black and White or X and Y, both of which I never played. That's a pretty sweet card. All right, well, so far, guys, we've actually had uh, pretty decent luck with the polls. Um, starting with, well, I don't know if it's starting with, but we had, this is my second uh, Alakazam EX full art card, a gorgeous card. Uh, this one is actually in better shape than the other one. The centering on the other one was pretty far off. We've got a Bronzog break card, which, again, I'm not too familiar with, familiar with break cards, so I don't know how valuable those are. Uh, a Slow King Hollow, which he's just chilling there. This White Chiron, which we just pulled. And then a Reverse Mr. Mime. So, pretty good start today, guys. Like I said, my uh, my luck has been pretty rough over the past couple openings. Um, I had two Champions Path uh, Elite Trainer boxes that were complete duds, which is incredibly disappointing for me. Because that's the thing, like, normally, MSRP, those... Elite Trainer Boxes are, I want to say $50. I think they're $50 compared to the normal $40 for Elite Trainer Boxes. Um, and yeah, to get duds on both of them, because I paid, I think, about $60 a piece plus like $10 for shipping. So that was, that was kind of a lot of money down the drain. Cool. Uh, so that was the end of X and Y. We are moving on to some Sun and Moon base set packs. Um, again, I'm not terribly familiar with what cards come in the set, uh, I've got my little cheat sheet up here on the screen. Oops, I actually have to change that. Uh, base set, there we go. Uh, so yeah, it looks like Umbreon and Espeon are what we're looking for here, guys. Here comes a code card for the uh, base set, uh, Sun and Moon. Hopefully one of y'all can make use of that. Now, we do get to go four to the front, and we get to play Guess the Energy this time. Uh, so because it's Sun and Moon, I always forget Fairy Energy is a thing, so let's guess Fairy Energy. And it is fighting. Well, it started with an F. That still kind of counts, right, guys? <laughs> All right, so fighting energy. We've got a Lolan Raticate, a Wishy Washy, oops, Energy Retrieval, Rog and Rolla, Cosmog, a Litten, a Psyduck, a Bound Sweet, Reverse Hollow Rare Candy, and a Non Hollow Incineroar. All right, nothing good so far, but I do have quite a few of these packs. Again, these are from. Uh, like combinations of various tins that I bought um, and some of those bigger boxes that come with like random cards and like a giant card and stuff like that. Um, I don't go out of my way for like Sun and Moon base set packs just because again, there's nothing, pardon me, nothing crazy valuable in them. Oh, again, the pack, I hate when they put this in there backwards. Here's a code card, Sun and Moon base set for you guys. Hopefully y'all can make good use of that. We got one, two, three, and four to the front. Uh, let's go with water energy, which is my type of energy. Oh, there's the fairy energy. 
you sneaky devil. We got a Spenda. Hey, Northrop, how you doing, man? Yeah, I stream, I try to stream at least every Wednesday about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, Rare Candy, Cosmog, Rog and Rolla, Growlithe, Malolan and Meowth, Dupiter, Reverse Psyduck, and a Decidueye GX. All right. We're pulling some good stuff today, guys. Holy moly. That is, it is really refreshing, honestly, because like I said, the past week or two, uh, it's in the trash, man, so I can't really grab it. Sorry. Uh, I will be putting this video up on my YouTube channel probably on Saturday. I can't remember if I have a video scheduled for Saturday or not. Um, so if you missed any of the code cards, you can try and grab them again. Yeah, check out this Decidueye. Oh, nice. Yeah, dude, you missed some good pulls. Hold on, let me uh, show, show you a couple. So, I don't know if you saw, but I pulled uh, an Alkazam EX full art uh, off camera, and then I pulled another one today. So, <laughs> X and Y packs are good to me, what can I say? But, uh, yeah, so far from uh, Sun and Moon as well, we got some good pulls. So, let me, uh, sorry, I'm trying to keep my stuff organized over here. Cool. Keeping track of that, get these cards out the way. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been a much better day, honestly. Like I said, my last couple of videos have been really disappointing because I haven't had many good pulls. Um, I had a lot of great pulls on New Year's Eve, so I can't really complain. Uh, but I'm just hoping that 2021 is going to be a good year for pulls. Uh, all right, here is the... Oops. Focus. Focus. Code card for Sun and Moon. Ba -ba -bum. Hopefully you all can get that. Uh, one, two, three, and four to the front. Let's say Lightning Energy. And it is dark type. That dark type is another energy that I forget to guess. Passimian, uh, Ilma, Spenda, Poplio, Zubat, Carvana, ha, and Snubble, Wingle, a reverse Bruxish. I believe that's a reverse rare, and a non hollow cloister. Womp, womp, womp. I believe, yep, that is a reverse rare, so I'm going to set that aside. I do try to organize my cards somewhat, but, you know. I'm lazy. You guys can tell, probably. <laughs> oh, gosh. But, yeah, so, uh, I am, like I said, I'm going to go try to do some sort of video tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is actually the anniversary for my YouTube channel. Uh, I completely forgot about that when I recorded the video for that it's scheduled to go out tomorrow. Um, so, I'm probably going to find some sort of... Here's a code card. Uh, something to do tomorrow. I'm going to try, I think, to stream on YouTube. I haven't done that before, so I don't know how it's going to work. Um, but I'm probably going to pop open either the Darkness of Blaze booster box or the Vivid Voltage booster box that I have. Um, we'll find out. Uh, let's go with Fire Energy. And it is Water. Water is my energy, so I cannot complain there, guys. We got a Pelipper. We got a Crocorock. A Brion. A Lowland Diglett. It's got a little bit of hair there. Uh, Bound Sweet. Skarmory. Cutifla. Drowsy, Reverse Herdier, and a Primarina GX. Holy crap, guys. We are on a roll today. We are on a roll. Holy crap. Let me get that in a sleeve real quick before I ruin it because y'all know me. I'm a clumsy son of a gun. Oh, let's get that in there. Take another look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh, God. I really... I really do love the hollow foils for these like GX cards and the V cards. God, that's gorgeous. Heck yeah, guys. We are on a roll today. Man, why couldn't I be opening Champion's Path today, right? <laughs> My luck is fantastic today, but oh. Oh gosh. So yeah, uh, like I said, I was talking about my YouTube channel, guys. We've got the anniversary tomorrow. I'm going to try and... I'm going to try, at least, to stream on YouTube tomorrow. I've never streamed on YouTube, so I don't know how it's going to go. But I'm planning on popping open uh, probably the Volt Vivid Voltage booster box. Um, just because I've been sitting on that for a while, i got to pull that Chonky Chew, man. Dude, if you haven't been following the, the prices and stuff... The Rainbow Ray or Pikachu, the VMAX Rainbow Ray or Pikachu from Vivid Voltage is up to $400 ungraded. That is insane. That's more than my Charizard, which, by the way, is at Beckett. Uh, they should be receiving it tomorrow. Um, they're going to grade it, and hopefully we'll get a good grade on that card. Here is that code card for you guys. 
yeah, so be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Tomorrow we've got a video coming out, same time as usual, about noon Eastern. Uh, but then I'm going to probably be streaming in the evening to celebrate the anniversary of the channel. Because we've made hella progress, guys. Like, immense progress, more than I was ever imagining. So I'm incredibly grateful to you all who watch me here on Twitch, but also to everyone who watches me on YouTube. Let's go with grass energy, because I forget about it. And it's water. Well, that's all right. Water is my energy, guys. Team Skull, Metapod, Granbull. Growlithe, Grubbin, Zubat, Torkoal, Rowlet, Reverse Primarina, and a Butterfree. Ah, oh, that's actually a really nice Butterfree. So hey, that's what, one of, I think, two non-hollows we've pulled from a, from this set. But we did get the Reverse Rare Primarina. So like I said, these, honestly, these older packs have been really good to me. I can't complain. I really can't complain. I wish I had more of them, but again, I don't necessarily go out of my way to buy these ones. These are the ones that come in like uh, tins and like those, you know, re reboxed stuff. I don't buy like booster boxes of this kind of thing, um, just because they're expensive, man. Like booster boxes, once they sell out, they the price goes up quite drastically. Uh, yeah, I've got quite a few good pulls today. Actually, you know, we'll take a take a breather here because I'm running out of breath. So, these were the pulls from. X and Y, we'll go through it real quick. Because um, I did some, what was it, Breakpoint and Fates Collide. Uh, so we can focus. We've got a Reverse Mr. Mime. We've got a Bronzong Break. A Hollow Sloking. A Hollow White Kirim. And another Mega Alakazam EX Full Art. That's definitely the best pull today so far. Um, it's the second one I've pulled, actually, which is hilarious, but... Uh, this one's in better shape, though. The centering is much better off. Uh, and then so far from this is Sun and Moon base set, we got the Primarina Reverse, a Bruxious Reverse, a Primarina GX, and a Decidueye GX. Uh, so again, we've gotten actually pretty good pulls today. Nothing, nothing terribly valuable. Don't get me wrong, uh, but I'm I'm very happy with the pulls so far. Whew! I gotta take a break, man. I'm running out of breath. <laughs> Oh, gosh. But yeah, I'm excited. Like I said, I, I've had terrible pulls the last two weeks, so uh, this is this is really, like, energizing for me, guys. I'm trying to get some good pulls here, make up some of the money I've spent. But finding cards is hard, guys. Like I said, I spent a couple hours today going around to the local Walmarts, Targets, and a few other stores. Nothing. Like, literally nothing. Like, Pokemon cards do not exist in this area. Um, and it's really kind of frustrating because... You know, obviously, yeah, I order a lot of stuff online, too, but I'm also paying quite a lot for shipping, which sucks. Um, so I'm not really making money, and it's 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 rough. Uh, let's go with fighting energy. That's water three times in a row, guys. That's a good sign, because, hey, water is my energy. We got a double colorless energy. Ooh, Dragonair. Ilma, Wingle, Stuffle, Poplio, Zubat, Shelder. A reverse Eevee? That's a cool looking Eevee. I don't think I've seen that one before. And a hollow Gigalith. All right. Who, guys, we are just on a roll today. I'm going to keep that Eevee out. I like that Eevee. Like I said, I, I don't always just sleeve like really valuable, really good cards. I sleeve stuff that I uh, I enjoy. Uh, what the heck just happened? Uh-oh. Yeah, my bot didn't like that. That was not me. That was my bot. Uh, yeah, not sure what that was, but, you know, take it take it easy on the chat there. <laughs> I just dropped a bunch of crap over here. Give me two seconds, guys. Uh, oops, hold on. I'm dropping stuff. See, like I said, I'm clumsy. This is why I sleeve anything valuable, because... Otherwise, I'm going to drop it, and it's going to be embarrassing, and it's a whole thing. Cool. So, Gigalith, Hollow. So, yeah, honestly, on the uh, Sun and Moon, guys, we've been doing really well. Stay. Oh, God, I just want to stay. Okay, we're going to do like that. Cool. Uh, we've got two more Sun Moon... Oh, no, excuse me. Three more Sun and Moon base set packs. Um, like I said, the top two cards right now are Umbreon. Hey, Elt Eric. How are you doing? Thank you for following. Uh, we got... Three packs to go. The top two cards are the Umbreon and Espeon GX Secret Rares. 
Um, hey, with the way luck has been going today, guys, we might be able to pull it off. We might be able to grab at least one of those. Sun and Moon code card for you guys. Uh, let's go one, two, three, and four to the front. I'm going to guess Fairy Energy because I always forget that it's a thing in Sun and Moon. Fairy Energy. That's, <laughs> that's water four times in a row. That's, that's got to be a good sign, guys. Water energy is my energy. So, uh, Corsola, Repel, Pelipper, Alolan Grimer, Rowlet, Drowsy, Cutie Fly, Skarmory, a Reverse Rattata, and that Butterfree again. I can't complain. It's a nice Butterfree, honestly. And like I said, we've pulled so many hollow rares already, you know? I'm not going to complain about one or two uh, non hollows. Oh, goodness. All right. We've got one, two more of these Sun and Moon base set packs. If I can get this thing to focus. Oh, God, focus. There it goes. Ba -ba Boom. Like I said, hopefully once my wife and I move over the next couple weeks, I'll be able to set up my streaming, get up a little bit better, and it will be a little more efficient. Uh, let's go with Dark Energy. Ooh, Psychic. Okay. Finally it changed. Charge a Bug. Rotom Dex. Nest Ball. Fero, Snubble, Sandile, Picky Peck, Carvana, huh? A Reverse Crabominable, that's a Reverse Rare, and a Tauros GX. Holy crap, guys, we are, seriously, we are on a roll with these GX cards today. Holy crap. I honestly haven't opened that much of the uh, Sun and Moon base set, so all of these are pretty much new to me. That's fantastic, holy moly. Let me sleeve that guy up right quick. We'll take another look at that as a Tauros GX Ultra Air. That is gorgeous. Yeah, that is a gorgeous card, guys. Holy crap. Man, we are doing fantastic today. Whew. One last pack of Sun and Moon base set. Uh, can we get that Umbreon or Espeon? I don't know, guys. With the luck we had today, I think we can. All right, we've got another code card coming your way. Again, Sun and Moon base set, last of that for today. And we've got one, two, three, and four to the front. What are we feeling for energies, guys? Uh, I don't really have a Discord, but uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Well, here, if you go to... Uh, hold on, let me pause for one moment, guys. Sorry to break the... Uh, break the uh thing here let me i'll send you a link or i'll put it in the chat rather basically this is the site i use for guessing prices um they they kind of give you an average price you can search by different sets and stuff and then sort by like market price and that'll tell you what each one is worth so basically you just have to look up like what set it's from or you can even just do a search for like charizard for example and then find the one that matches up with the one you have and it'll give you an idea of how much it's worth most charizards are pretty valuable though um as long as they're like hollow rares and in good condition just because charizard is such a nostalgic card and everyone loves it um oh did i already do the four to the front uh i don't know we're gonna guess metal energy oh it's psychic okay so i did the four to the front so we're good here all right can we get Umbreon or Espeon? Oh, I jacked up my thing here. Ooh, where did it go? There it is. Okay. Umbreon or Espeon GX Secret Rares. Here we go. Psychic. Timer Ball. Boldor. Ultra Ball. Lowland Meowth. Growlithe. Rog and Rolla. Cosmog. Litten. Reverse Vicky Vol. That is a reverse rare. And a non hollow cloister. I can't complain, guys. Like, you saw the pulls that I've gotten so far from this set. I can't complain. Like, seriously, these are all the... This is including the reverse rares as well. So, like I said, we got... Uh, so, that right there was the Sun and Moon base set. I believe next I have a couple Guardians Rising and then a few Crimson Invasion. And then that'll be it for the day. Uh, it's a first-generation Charizard Hollow, but is in Spanish. And regular... Quality. that can still be worth something um even the the different languages not necessarily english um you can get good prices on those um like you i what i would recommend doing is once you figure out exactly which card it is i would send it to a grading service like beckett for example which i actually sent off a few cards uh earlier this week it should be arriving there tomorrow 
hopefully it'll get back to me within a couple weeks um, and get it graded. And that way they can tell you exactly, you know, what quality, what condition it's in, but then they'll also put it in a nice solid plastic sleeve for you, um, which is, yeah, it's fantastic. But uh, I'm expecting my Charizard because I got the, what was it called? The shiny Charizard V from Champion's Path. And I'm expecting probably like a 9.5 or a 9 out of that because the centering was pretty far off. But I, oops, but I think everything else was okay. Um, but yeah, I would definitely get it graded, man, because that's the best way to figure it out. Um, so anyways, this is just kind of a recap of the Sunderman base set. So we've got a Reverse Vicky Volt, a Tauros GX. Oh god, this is going to be all over the place. Oop. A Crabominable, a Gigalith Hollow, a Eevee, which is not necessarily rare, but I like it. A Primarina. Uh, reverse, Bruxious Reverse, Primarina GX, and a Decidueye GX. So really good pulls there from the Sun and Moon base set. Uh, like I said, we are moving on though. I have, I only have three Guardians Rising. Um, so we're going to be doing those ones next. Again, I'm just kind of clearing out my loose packs right now, guys. Um, again, my wife and I are going to be moving over the next week or two. And I'm trying to keep out the clutter. Anything that's in a box, I'm probably going to keep in a box. Um, although, like I said, I'm probably going to open my Vivid Voltage box tomorrow on a stream on YouTube. Um, again, celebrating the anniversary of my YouTube channel. Um, so let's see what we got here. Um, again, this is a set that I'm not terribly familiar with, so I don't entirely know uh, what to expect as far as rares or ultra rares or things like that. Um, but like I said, I've got my lucky cheat sheet here. Uh, looks like a Sylveon GX is top card for this one. Here is the code card for, again, Sun and Moon, Guardians Rising. Uh, and again, Sun and Moon, so four to the front. One, two, three, and four. And we're going to guess Water Energy because there were so many in that last set. Hey! Water Energy! Pat on back. A la Leonhart. And let's see what we've got here. Altar of the Moon. Mallow. Altar of the Sun. Wimpod. Nose Pass. Wishy Washy. Slowpoke. Stuffle. A reverse mallow and a non hollow victory bell. Ugh. I like victory bell, but that's just the. I don't like that card art, guys. That's a weird one. Eek. Yeah, that can go in the. That can go in the common box. <laughs> All right, so this is the second pack of Guardians Rising for Sun and Moon. Uh, yeah, I only have three of these packs, so I'm not expecting anything terribly, terribly fancy to come out of them. Um, we had a lot of the Sun and Moon packs, that's why I think we pulled so many good cards. Um, although we did have better luck with the X and Y as well. Here is the code card for, again, Guardians Rising. Oops, focus, boom. There you go. Uh, we've got one, two, three, and four to the front. Let's say Lightning Energy. Oh, it's Leaf. All right, fair enough. we got a Fletchender, an Alolan Graveler, Altar of the Sun, Whalmer, Guru... Oh, what the heck is that? It's like Knitted. <laughs> Wimpod, oops, Nose Pass, a Wishy Washy, a Reverse, is that a rare? I think that's a rare. Uh, yeah, that is a Reverse rare, cool. Delmace, and a <laughs> Tapu Coco GX. The luck continues, guys. What can I say? That is, that is nuts. Holy crap, let me sleeve that up, we'll take another look at it. Oh my gosh, yeah, we are... Man, we're plowing through these packs, but we are getting some pretty, pretty awesome pulls. We'll take another look at that Tapu Coco GX. Very, very nice card. God, like I said, I love the foil for these GX cards. They look amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, last pack for Guardians Rising. Uh, after this, it's going to be some Crimson Invasion, and then that's all I've got for you today. So let's, oh god, oh, that opened the complete opposite direction. Oh boy. Making a mess here, but that's okay. We make a mess here because we are messy people and that's fine. It's all fine. Here's Guardians Rising code for you guys. Let's go. All right. One, two, three, and four to the front. Let's say fire energy. I don't know why. It just felt like fire. And it's lightning. Well, that's what I guessed last time. All right. Hala. Glalie. A weeping bell to go with our victory bell. A machop. A rock rough. Beldum. Whale Mer, another Gumi, a Reverse Rock Ruff, and a Hollow Victini. Heck yeah, guys. Man, we are we are just raking in the hollows today. 
again, it really, <laughs> it makes me feel good because the last couple openings have been just absolute duds. Let me get that and we'll take another look at that for you guys. That is a hollow victim. That is a gorgeous hollow too. Really nice. I don't know again if it's terribly valuable, but it's a gorgeous card, so I'm happy with it, you know? And that's really, again, like, uh, gonna take a break, kind of slow myself down here. Again, it's all about having fun. Like, if you're not having fun opening cards, guys, what are you doing? You know, you gotta do what you enjoy, enjoy what you do. That's why I open cards on Twitch for you guys. That's why I do it on YouTube. So I play games on YouTube because I enjoy it and I want you guys to have fun too. So it's what it's all about. Even if we don't pull anything valuable, just have fun, right? Okay, <clears throat> so uh, that was it for the uh, Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. I've got a handful of Crimson Invasion packs here. Which, Crimson Invasion was actually the first set that I opened on camera. Uh, well, the first set I've opened in, like, 20 years. Um, back to square one, stop spamming emotes. Eey. So, I think I think I need to work on my, uh, my bot there, because it's a little overactive. So, I apologize for it banning your messages and stuff. Um, yeah, thank you, yeah. Yeah, sorry about my night bot. Um, I definitely, it's new. I'm still working on tweaking it so that it's not so uh, aggressive. <laughs> um, but yeah, I appreciate the... Okay, yeah, like three emotes, that should be fine. Like, I don't know why it flipped out over that. So I, I do apologize for that. It's a new bot. I'm still working out the kinks for it. Um, I don't mind emotes. I'm going to have to tweak with it so it doesn't freak out again. But bear with me, it's new. I, I'm still learning how to work this stuff. Uh, but I, yeah, I appreciate your support. I appreciate the emotes. I like emotes, actually. So, uh, Crimson Invasion. We've got, I think, six packs. Dexter Boston Terrier Dog is now following. Well, thank you for following, Dexter Boston, Dexter Boston Terrier Dog. That is a mouthful, man. Hello, how are you doing, Dexter? Bo Dexter? Can I just call you Dexter? <laughs> it's, it's really hard for me to say that full thing. Uh, and thank you for following, VKXDN. I appreciate your support. Uh, so here comes a code card for, I don't even remember, Crimson Invasion, I think? Yeah, Crimson Invasion. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. Maybe. <laughs> uh, Sun and Moon, guys, so it's four to the front. Cool, yeah, Dexter works. Dex, yeah, Dex works. Nice and simple. Uh, let's go with Fairy Energy, because I always forget it's a thing. And we've got Leaf Energy, that's all right. We've had some good pulls so far. Gastrodon, Zoilus, Miltank. Ma oh, that's a kind of cool manky. I dig that. Remoraid. Uh, Shellos. Bunnelby. Oh, that's a pretty cool ma magic carb, actually. Nice. A reverse Carablast. And a non hollow Registeel. Alright. That's fair. Again, with all the pulls we've had today so far, guys, I can't complain about a few non rare. Excuse me, non hollow rares. Um, and I've already gotten some decent cards from uh, Crimson Invasion. Um. I mean, keep it PC, you know? I don't do racism, I don't do... Oh, one thing that I've had issues with is uh, bots spamming advertisements. I I ban those guys real quick, so don't spam advertisements on my chat, guys. Um, I feel like I shouldn't have to say that, but I hate that stuff. If you want to spam advertisements, do it on your own chat. Here's a code card for you guys. Um, yeah, just try and keep it PG, too. Again, it's Pokemon cards, so you know, kids might be watching. I do have my channel listed as mature audiences only, but all the same, if I'm open to Pokemon cards, you know, try not to drop an F-bomb, guys. You know, but whatever. Honestly, I'm pretty easy going, so, um, my, like, I, <laughs> I was talking earlier, I don't know if you noticed in the chat, um, my, I do have a bot that helps me out with, like, posting my social media stuff and that, but apparently it's also really hyperactive when it comes to, like, uh, capital letters and emotes, um, so I apologize for that. I'm going to work on that and see if I can tone it down a bit. Um, because yeah, it was, uh, yeah, sorry about that. So, um, did I already do four to the front? Uh, I don't remember. Fighting energy? Oh, okay. I already did four to the front, but I messed up. Okay. That's fine. Water energy. Uh, Alolan Graveler. Uh, we've got an Emolga. A Lyran. A Phoebus. I like that Cubone. That's a nice card. A Shellos. A Bunnelby, Houndour, a Reverse, Sea of Nothingness, 
and a hollow Salazzle. Oh, look at that Salazzle. It's got, like, family. Aw. That's cute. I like that. That's a nice card. I can't complain about that. I, I, like I said, guys, we've been getting some pretty great pulls today. Um, you know, I don't know. It's weird. Like, why can't I get great pulls when I'm doing Champion's Path, you know, where they're actually, like, very valuable cards? I'll take another look at that Salazzle real quick. Again, the hollows for this series... I just love it. looks like, I don't know, like Lucified almost. I don't know. It's really cool, guys. Okay. Uh, what do we got? One, two, three. We got four more. Crimson Invasion. Uh, let's pop this bad boy open. Um, like I was saying before, if you weren't here on the stream earlier, uh, tomorrow is the one-year anniversary for my YouTube channel. Um, I'll post the link again in the chat in just a moment. Um and I'm trying to figure out what to do. I, I think I'm going to try and stream on YouTube tomorrow evening. I've never done that before, so we'll see how well it goes. But I will be opening, uh, assuming I can get it working right, um, I will be opening a Vivid Voltage booster box. The entire thing, 32, is it 32 or 36 packs? I can't remember. Basically the entire thing um, in hopes of getting that Chonky Chew, which is now up to like $400 or something crazy like that. Uh, one, two, three, and four to the front. Um, so if you can follow me on there, that'd be great. Uh, once I'm done opening this pack, I'll put the link in chat again. Um, or you can actually try it out. If you do exclamation mark YouTube, lowercase, it should pop it up for you, assuming my bot is working correctly. If y'all want to test that for me real quick, that'd be great. Uh, let's guess, uh, fairy energy. Boom. Uh, water. Hey, it is working. Awesome. So yeah, there's my YouTube, guys. Um, go subscribe to me on there. Uh, there, I do videos Sundays tuesdays thursdays and saturdays on there uh usually the saturday video is a repeat of my stream um but yeah there's a video coming out tomorrow i forgot that it was my anniversary when i was recording it um so i didn't say anything so i'm gonna do a stream instead we'll see how it works okay right, so we got water energy uh zoilos mill tank counter energy swablu skido chimekcho mischievous stuffle a reverse Holomus Magus, that's a reverse rare. And an Alolan Golem GX full art. Holy moly. Oh, that is one of the top 10 cards for this set, guys. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying not to scream. That's crazy. Today has been fantastic. Let me sleeve this up before I ruin it, because y'all know me, I am clumsy. Oh my goodness, let's take another look at that guy. Let's take another look at that guy. Look at that. That is a gorgeous card. I love the full art cards. They are so cool. And that right here, according to this, uh, ungraded or anything like that, is almost a $10 card. So yeah, that's awesome. That is freaking sweet, guys. We are on a roll today. Holy moly. Like I said, after the last two weeks, I have had no good pulls. Like, the last time I had a good pull was on New Year's Eve, but today it has been, like, non-stop good pulls. Oh, it makes me feel so good. I hope you guys are enjoying this too. I really do. Like I said, as much as I enjoy doing this cards opening and stuff, I do it for you guys. I want it to be entertaining for you guys. So I am having a great time. I hope you all too. Here's another code card for Crimson Invasion. Oh God, see? Oh, see, and then it timed him out for 600 seconds. That's not fair. Hold on, maybe, let me see if I can, I can undo that somehow. Hold on. Nightbot, you need to chill out, bro. Oh, God. See, I'm sorry. I'm new to this whole, like, bot thing, and he's being bad. He's misbehaving. I don't know how to stop him. Uh, VKXDN, if you're still here, I apologize. Um, it seems to have banned you for 600 seconds from the chat uh, because you're spamming emotes, which I disagree with. Yeah, ban the bot. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. I think there's... Hold on, there's a dashboard for this thing. Give me two seconds, guys. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, there's a dashboard. Um, okay, hold on. Recent timeouts. How do I undo that is the question. And turn down the settings. Oh, wait, here's spam protection. Hold on. Uh, phrases, patterns. Ah, excess emotes. Okay, hold on. Let me... Let me turn that up. We'll... S User has suppressed so I'll turn that up until like we'll say 50 emotes. 50 emotes is probably good. Um, and then can I turn down the timeout length for 
We'll do 60 seconds instead. Because I, I, I do still want to have some sort of moderation here, just in case. Uh, okay, no, I definitely want a message, so we'll submit that. I don't know if that's going to undo the ban that it just did for uh, VKXDN. I do apologize for that, buddy. Um, excess emotes. Okay, yeah, so excess emotes shouldn't be an issue anymore. Is there a way for me to unbam people? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, like I said, I'm still new to this guy, so I apologize. I'm not not familiar. Timed out for... Yeah, I don't think I can undo the timeout, unfortunately, which I... I appreciate your support, VK, VKXDN. I do. It Please, I apologize. The, bo the bot is being angry. I changed it so you guys should be able to do more emotes now. Um, <laughs> God, what a train wreck. Okay, sorry about that. So, click on his name. Oh, okay, wait, hold on. I gotta find his name real quick. Because it blocked it out from those other ones uh oh did it completely like erase him from the chat oh son of a gun what is wrong with this angry bot yeah it doesn't show it on my thing over here hold on let me go to the actual stream manager here maybe he's still on here uh crap no it didn't why doesn't it show up on my thing uh maybe i can well that's really crappy yeah it doesn't show up on here i d i know i need a mod i just I i'm not really big enough to like have somebody modding for me yet um that's why i hired this bot well i say hired i installed this bot um yeah, and this is only the second stream I've had the bot on for, and the last stream that I had didn't really have anybody interacting, so it wasn't an issue. Um, crap, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't see a way I can undo it right now, so I apologize sincerely, VKXDN. Please don't hate me. It's just my bot is a little bit overactive, but I think I fixed it, so in future it won't ban anyone again. We'll we'll see what happens, guys. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I'm going to have to keep going, that way I'm not uh, wasting y'all's time, but hopefully we'll get back to normal here. Um, I can't remember if I already did the Ford of the Front. Uh, we're going to guess Fire Energy just in case. Oh, nope, hold on, I didn't do Ford of the Front. Okay, cool, well that's fine. Ford of the Front, Fire Energy, here we go. Uh, fairy, I always forget fairy's a thing, that's fine. So we got a Fighting Memory, and a Lowland Graveler, and a Molga, Stuffle, Phoebus, Jangboo, Staryu, Aeron, a Reverse Numel, and a Hollow Go Goat. Again, we're just rolling in the hollows. It's pretty, pretty nuts here, guys. All right, let me sleeve that up real quick. We've got two more packs, Crimson Invasion, and that's all the packs I have to open today, unfortunately. Um, like I said, I'm just kind of clearing out space in preparation for the move. Um, I will be doing a full booster box of Vivid Voltage tomorrow. On YouTube, I think, if I can figure out how to stream on YouTube. I haven't done it before, but we'll figure it out. Mm, pardon me. Here is this. I do like that Go-Go card. It's a pretty, pretty nice card. All right. We've got Vivid, or not Vivid, well, just good gracious, Crimson Invasion. Second to last pack here. Here's the code card. If we can focus. Focus. There it goes. Crimson Invasion. All right. We've got one, two, three, and four to the front. Let's say lightning energy. And it's water. Well, we've gotten like 90% water energies today, guys. But that is my energy, so I'm taking that as good luck. Gastrodon. Zoilos. Aaron. Oh, that's a pretty cool ghastly. A corefish. Oops. A minchino. A weedle. A reverse skeeto. And a non-hollow oranguru. Uh, I think I got one today so far. Uh, I think I, I think I got one today so far. It's honestly, it's really hit or miss. Uh, one of the one of the uh, champions path openings I did last week, I think I got like 
8 out of 12 guess the energy is correct, but I didn't pull a single good card. So I don't know if there's like some correlation between the amount of guess the energies I get correct and the amount of good pulls I get, because I haven't guessed it at all. Oh no, I guessed it correctly once today out of all the packs, but I've had amazing pulls today. So, you know, I can't complain, right? <laughs> Alright. So, uh, I heard a beepy thing. What beeped? Something beeped. I don't know, guys. Random beeps. Random beeps scare me. Okay, uh, last pack magic today. We've got last Crimson Invasion Sun and Moon, last pack. Can we pull something amazing? I don't even know what the amazing card is. I think it's a Gyarados. Uh, oh, because I did actually pull the Olivia Full Art. Uh, that's actually one of the first openings I did. I opened an Elite Trainer Box for Crimson Invasion, uh, and I pulled that Olivia Full Art, which is a gorgeous card. Um, so I won't be ending the stream soon. I just, I open cards for about half the stream, and then I do games or something. Um, I don't do terribly long streams on Wednesdays, just because it's, it's my day off, so I try not to work too much. Uh, Fairy Energy. Uh, darkness, that's okay. Um, but I'll usually switch to, like, playing games or something. Oh, no, no worries, yeah. Um, and then just play games. Usually most people back out after that, because most of the people on Twitch just want to see me open cards. Um, but a handful will still hang out and watch me play games, but I'm cool with whatever, you know. Like I said, it's my day off, I do it for fun, so. Sea of Nothingness, Excelgore, ooh, Kakuna, Houndour, Ghastly, Corfish, Aaron, Mankey, Reverse Hollow Aaron, and a Gold Rare Wishful Baton. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> Today has been nuts. Today has truly been nuts for these polls. Holy crap. Okay. So let me sleeve that up. We'll take another look at that. Oh god, please don't drop it. I am so clumsy, guys. Okay, let's take another look at that. Uh, so that was Crimson Invasion. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is a gorgeous card, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. I've only seen a handful of these golden rares before. Um, Wishful Baton, it's not even in the top 10, but it's still a really cool card. So I, I truly cannot complain about that. So let's go through the polls we got. Uh, oops, from Crimson Invasion. I always forget that I put the reverse rares in here too. Uh, so let's take another look. Boom, boom, boom. So yeah, we've got the Wishful Baton, which, like I said, these gold rare cards, I've only seen a handful of them, but they are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, Wishful Baton. We had a Go-Goat, which that is a pretty sweet looking card. The Alolan Golem GX Full Art. I really, like I said, I really am impressed with like the Full Art cards. They are just amazing. A Salazzle with her family, it looks like. A Victini. A Tapu Coco GX. I'm kind of off center, sorry. <laughs> uh, oh god. Well, there goes PSA 10. Uh, we got a reverse rare Miss Magius. And then the one I dropped was a reverse rare Focus. Oh my god, Focus. Jesus. Delmise. It's a big old anchor. Oh my goodness. I've done so much talking today, guys. I'm out of breath. All right, so that was that was all the packs I had to open today. Um, so if you're tuning in just now for pack openings, I apologize. Yeah, at least it's only reverse hollow. Um, yeah, so if you're tuning in for pack openings, I actually just finished for the day. Sorry. Like I said, I was just clearing out all the loose stuff that I had. I do have a couple booster boxes, one of which I'm going to be saving until after we move, one of which I'm going to be opening tomorrow on the YouTube channel. Um, there you are. Yeah, sorry. VKXDN. I am, I am so sorry, man. I am so sorry. I, I turned down the sensitivity for the night, but I didn't realize it was so sensitive. Um, so I do apologize sincerely for that. Um, yeah, I, I am so sorry. I, I cannot apologize enough for that. Um, it's a new bot. I just tried it out last stream. I didn't have like anybody on that stream, so I didn't have any issues. Um, but today I actually had quite a bit of interaction, which I'm incredibly grateful for. And thank you for sticking around even through the ban. I'm so sorry, dude. Um, I wish there was a way I could make it up to you, but I don't really know how. Um, but yeah, hopefully you will continue to follow the streams when they come out. Um, like I said, I do try to stream regularly on Wednesdays at 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, next week is going to be kind of up in the air just because, again, we're going to be moving. So I have next Wednesday off. I'm probably going to be trying to move a bunch of stuff that day. 
Um, we'll see what happens. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for Pokemon cards today, guys. Like I said, hit me up on YouTube. We will be doing, uh, well, I've got a video coming out tomorrow. That's going to be an opening, um, for some cards, but then also I'm going to try and stream on YouTube tomorrow evening, maybe uh, let's say eight o'clock PM Eastern. Um, we're going to be doing a vivid voltage booster box opening the entire booster box in search of that rainbow ray or chunky chew. Cause I've yet to pull him and he is so gorgeous and so valuable right now. Oh my gosh, like last time I checked, his price was like $400 ungraded, which is insane. So, uh, yeah, so thank you guys for hanging out. I'm going to be switching to some gameplay now. I don't know what. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I don't really plan that part of the video out or that part of the stream out. Um, I usually do like uh, Risk of Rain or something. Um, I've kind of been on a Risk of Rain binge recently. Um, just because that game is so much fun. Like, if you haven't had a chance to play Risk of Rain 2, it is just an immense amount of fun um uh, but yeah so let's oh gosh how did i do this before i forget how to do this every single time okay so risk of rain it's not a zombie game basically the idea is that you crash land on a planet and boop boop, boop. there we go Um, so basically, the idea is that you crash land on this planet and you kind of have to fight your way through stages of enemies in order to survive. Uh, and then... Sorry, I'm making sure it looks right over there. Hey, there we go. Okay, cool, I did it right. So, um, it's a third-person looter shooter. So what you have to do is you have to kill enemies to earn money and pop open these chests that usually have random equipment that will help you improve your stats and progress through the game um the way i have it set up i can pick and choose my equipment because of a certain relic that i have um but you have different survivors that you can play as and each one has their own kind of style um so for example you start with this guy the commando who's he, he's pretty well-rounded he's pretty generic he's not great at anything but he's okay at everything um this one is my personal favorite the huntress uh, she's very fast, deals a lot of damage, but she's also kind of a glass can. She doesn't have a lot of hit points. So let's do some monsoon. Why not? Um, and like I said, I use the artifact of command. So normally when you pop open a chest, it gives you a random item. The artifact of command lets you pick and choose which item you want each time, which is really essential if you're going to be building up to beat the game on the most difficult mode, uh, which is monsoon. So We'll see how it, let's see how it goes. I did also recently discover a kind of way to, um, break the game, let's say, uh, because it basically allows you to constantly fire your heavy equipment item, um, and just spam the map with missiles, and you basically just have to run around and dodge, and that's it. <laughs> so it's, it's, uh, interesting. Uh, how much were these chests? 25. Eek. So yeah, I need more money to be able to get more equipment. But like I said, out of the box, the Huntress is a pretty solid character to start with. She's fast, agile, she can shoot while she's sprinting, which is unique to her. Um, so you don't have to slow down at all. Yeah, no worries. Hey, thank you for hanging out, Dex. I appreciate the follow. Uh, like I said, we should hopefully see you next week uh, when I open some more cards. Um, oh god, no. Die, Wisps. Okay, now I've got some money. It's, yeah, I was going to say, it's definitely not a game for everyone, um, but I definitely enjoy it. <laughs> Let's go! Yeah, part of the problem is, I would love to open more cards. Yeah, I appreciate it, Dex. We'll see you next time. Yeah, I would love to open more cards, I just can't really afford it. <laughs> Especially since cards are so hard to find in stores nowadays. I gotta buy them all online and then pay shipping costs. And Yeah, no worries. Like I said, I, I appreciate you hanging out, Dex. I really do. We'll uh, hopefully see you next time. Ugh, don't die. Bum, bum, bum. Oh god, here we go. Bum, 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 bum. I also realize it's getting really warm in this room. 
Oh, don't hit me. Rude. Ooh, yes, give me that green. Yes! Alrighty then. Uh, crap, that's the apartment people calling. Give me un momento, por favor. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, like I said, we're moving in about, well, technically our move-in date is this Friday, but we're going to be taking our time moving stuff in. Uh, that was just the new apartment people wanting some more information. So, I'll have to get that done after the stream, but we're going to try and get into this monsoon run first. I hope. Monsoon, guys, is nuts. Uh, even as someone who's played this game for, I think, almost 100 hours now, um, and I'm pretty darn proficient with the Huntress, if I do say so myself, um, it is still challenging to get through Monsoon every time. Um, like I said, the, I recently discovered a kind of... Um, I don't want to say it's cheating. I'd say it's probably more of an exploit. Um, but basically, it, it kind of breaks the game. So I'm not going to be doing that this round because that's no fun. I want to beat Monsoon in a legitimate way. I need more equipment, though. There's some. Burp. Give me gear. So with the Huntress, I try to basically max out my critical hit chance because her attacks are doubled every time she crits. Um, but then there's also lots of other items that can stack other effects with critical hits, like uh, healing and bonus damage and things like that. Um, so definitely want to try and max out the crit. Come on. Go down. Boom, boom, boom. What do we got over here? Uh, that's a chest. It's like half buried, but I'll take it. Alright, let's get a scythe. The scythe will heal me on crits. Which, again, I'm a glassy, glassy cannon here, so I'm definitely going to need that. I would really like to find some equipment, though. Actual equipment items. Not the passive equipment. I've got passive stuff, but... Uh, can we go this way, maybe? Uh... Oh, dear. I don't think there is any on this map. Oh, there it is. Haha. -ha! I found it. Yes. Give me... I think we want to do, yeah, the Prion Accumulator. Alright, cool. Now I think I'm ready to go fight the boss. Or bosses in this case, since I did Shrine of the Mountain. So, yeah, we'll see how well that goes. Sometimes doing Shrine of the Mountain on the first level is super easy. Uh, even on Monsoon, but sometimes it's just a nightmare and I regret my decision instantly. So, let's find out what we've got. No jellyfish, no jellyfish. It's the freaking jellyfish. That's fine. We'll just massacre you. Oh god, don't explode, don't explode. Oh god, I gotta run. Run! Uh, up! <laughs> and that's why I hate the jellyfish. Well, that was fun. Okay. Uh, let's try that again. Yeah, that took us all of, what, five minutes to die? Ugh. Uh, okay, there's a box right by... I spawned in the exact same spot. What are the odds of that? Probably not that extreme, honestly, but... Do do do. Oh, I forgot to update the stream info. I'm a dum-dum. Whatever. I guess I can pause and do it. Oh god, come back. Run back and get that chest that we saw in the first area. Let's go!
Wait. Uh, where's some more boxes? I need more loot. I need more loot. The mighty loot. Y'all ever seen the movie or the show The Mighty Boosh? It's a absolutely bizarre show, but I love it. With old Greg and Vince Noir and Howard Moon. And also the moon itself as a character. Uh, yeah, I've not gotten much in the way of good loot here, guys. Also, I should be critting somewhat frequently now. Oh god, I fell. Oh, there's the blood shrine. Okay, well, there's the teleporter. I just have to find some gear to help me actually beat the boss this time and not die instantly. Because that was embarrassing. Ooh, lucky shrines. Oh, yep. That's just my luck, guys. Okay, well, I'm not wasting any more money on the lucky shrine. Not that I could if I wanted to, but... Is there more loot over this way, maybe? Doesn't look like it. Yep, this is going to be another pretty bare-bones run here, guys. I do not like my odds. Okay. Well, that really sucks. Why won't you die? So many beetles. Yeah, I don't think this run's gonna go too well either, guys. I have not gotten enough loot. But, what can we do, right? Yep, there's more money, but that's not terribly helpful, to be honest. Quit spitting your babies everywhere. Gross. Come on, take her out. Okay, well, I at least beat the boss. Whether or not I'll survive the next 10 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever it is. That's another question. Green, give me my hat. I need my hat. Okay, that's not so bad, guys, right? Not so bad. this right quick because I forgot to change the thing. I forgot. That's fine. I forgot. Uh, risk of rain. Two. Bam. Okay, I updated it. Now it's accurate. I feel better now. Okay. Sorry. 
I feel weird when my stream is mislabeled, so. Oh god, there's a shrine of the mountain. We're gonna do it, because I need I need more gear, guys. So I'm going to have to hopefully accumulate a buttload of gear on this run before I go for that. There is ooh, there's a lunar item, a lunar pod. Oh, do I dare? Hmm. I mean, I could just go for the exploit that I've been doing. Hmm. Uh, okay, you know what? Yeah, we'll do that. Excuse me. Okay, we're gonna do it. Because I need something. We gotta be entertaining, guys. That's what the entertainment business is about. Is being entertaining, right? So, we're gonna be entertaining. And y'all are gonna be entertained. And everybody's gonna be happy. I hope. I don't know. I'm just kind of spouting exposition right now. Because I don't know what else to do. Give me the rocket pod. Cool. Now everybody's gonna die. I need more equipment. More loot. So I can fight. That's money. Oh, there's a big boy over there. Go get him, guys. Yep, he tried. Kaboom. Oops. What was that? I think that lizard came out of the pot, maybe? Is that what I saw? Oh, these chests are expensive, but I need gear, so I cannot complain. Beggars can't be choosers, right, guys? Take what I can get. Oh, is that a large chest? No, but I'll take it. Alright, I could use some greens. I need greens. Green is the color that I need. I have lots of whites, but I could use some greens. That is another white. Okay, whatever. Our crit chance is like 65%, so that's also a good thing. But I need some greens to balance it out. Okay, oh, this is where I started. Okay, well, ooh, that's a red. Ooh, we're going for the afterburner first, guys, because I need to be able to dodge. Ooh, I see a chest or two over here. That's another white. Son of a gun. Okay. Lots of crit. Lots of crit. If I'm not critting a 100% chance, what am I doing, guys? Uh, how much is... Oh, look at that. Just enough to open it. It's a white... Oh, no, it's a green. Okay, cool. I need that. Give me the fuel cell. The trick here, guys, is to basically max out on fuel cells. And then you're... Also that lunar item that I picked up. Uh, because then your equipment will be launching basically the entire time. So, uh, I need more money. Guys, I need to kill you so I can get more money. Come on now. Don't be rude. Thank you. Oh, gotta whip him in line sometimes. Whip him in shape. Whip him in line. I don't know. I'm not good at phrases, guys. Uh, teleporter was this way, I think, if I remember correctly. Mm, that way's blocked off. Ah! Screw you! You floaty jerks. Okay, we're taking way too much time, so I gotta go fight the boss. Whether or not I'm ready, I hope I am ready. We'll find out. Oh, and it's Shrine of the Mountain time. Beetle Queen! Okay, I can do Beetle Queens. Beetle Queens I can do. Oh, there's so many little beetles, too. Wait, why are there three of them? Why are there three beetle queens? That doesn't make sense. That math don't add up. Alright, well, that's one of them down. Oh, gosh. Please don't kill me. I'm too young to die. Oh god, that was too close. 
Oh, I haven't gotten a scythe yet. That's the other issue. Okay. Okay, you little wispy bastards need to die. Oh gosh, come on. Stay alive. Stay alive. Come on. Okay, give me that. So I can start healing. Okay, now we're healing. Give me that. Okay, now we're making progress. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm good. We're we're good. We're good. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna ace this. Come on, hurry up. Boom, let's get out of here. Oh gosh. Uh, it's 120 for a chest. Go, my rockets. Go kill the big green guy. Yeah, look at that. I can just sit back and do nothing. Ooh, there's a money chest. Money, money, money. Ooh, there's a bunch of chests down there, too. Ooh, I need some money. Send me something to kill. Uh, there we go. Okay, give me that, because I need to sprint. Nice try. Better luck next time. Oh, you brought a friend. I didn't even see that. Oh, well, your friend died too. Oh, good. Give me more fuel cells. The more fuel cells, the better. Because I am exploiting the crap out of this run, guys. I am not going to lie. Oh, hi. Well, that was a nice attempt. Is there anyone else that would like to die? Please? Yes? Yes? Okay. Yes, give me more equipment. Uh, let's get some more basic attack. Speed boost. Alright. Oh, look, another chest. Beautiful. Give me more fuel cell. Oops. Yay! Uh, there's more boxes, more boxes. I need enemies to kill. Where are the enemies? Oh, that's a large chest, 241. I could definitely use another red. Hello? Enemies, I need to kill you and steal your money. Please? I mean, to be fair, if someone said they wanted to kill me and steal my money, I'd probably run away too. Just saying. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're at 222. Where was that big old chest? Uh, I think that was on the upper level. Yes, large chest. Okay, here we go. Come on, red. Come on, red. It's a red. Hell yes. Give me that. Because now we're going to be pretty darn close to continuously firing. Uh, I think one more. Okay, yeah. So we're at 95%. That should be enough for crit... Critting, critical chance, whatever you want to call it. Oops, there go my missiles through the thing. Oh, died. Get some teddy bears too. Problem is, I always put all of my equipment into offense and I forget about defense, and then I die really quickly and it's embarrassing. Can't be dying really quick now. I gotta impress people. People who deserve to be impressed. Got 
Gotta go fast. Uh, did I pass the teleporter already? Am I crazy? Uh, that's a great question. I don't remember. I think I... Maybe it's on the other side of the thing over here? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Is there any more gear I can grab? Yeah, let me grab this one. And then add a little more bleed. And we'll fight the boss, and they will explode, and it's going to be fine. I despise you, Clay Doom Doodoos. Doo dudes, dudes. And they died. Oh, they gave me a yellow. Give me the shatter spleen. I want to shatter your spleen. Oh, gosh. chest. Yes. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna give me that. Oops. No. Give me that real quick. We're gonna give that to you. And we're gonna pick that up. Nice! There we go. Now I have a recon buoy, and I can fire my missiles. Oh, yes. That is good. It is very good. Yes, very good, guys. Very good. got this going. Where are the eggs? Because I need to summon what's-his-name so I can get another red. More reds, the better. What do you want? You honestly think you stand a chance? Because you are dead wrong. Emphasis on dead. Good lord. Yeah, I already have so much stuff. We're just gonna keep on building, guys. More loot, the better. Yes, more green. More greens. Yeah, you and your birds are gonna die too. Mm hmm. That's how we roll up in here. And another. More of that, and some more of that. I'm actually short on money. Hmm. Where are the eggs? Uh, I don't need a lunar shrine. There's the teleporter. Why haven't I found more eggs? Let's find and smash the eggs. No, get the money. Get the money. Uh, yeah, where the heck are the eggs, guys? Did I just miss them completely? Hmm. Oh, there's some. How do I get those ones? Hiding in the corner. Eggs. Let's go get a little bit more attack speed. Can't hurt, right? Uh, I don't see any more eggs over there. 
Oh god, I gotta climb up the... Oh, I don't like it. Oh gosh, hi. Uh, maybe if we go on top of the thing here. Oh yeah, there's some eggs. Nice, okay. Yeah, you're gonna die. Jesus, he's got almost 200 stacks of bleed on that guy. Yeah, you're gonna die. Yes, give me that red. Red! Give me, give me... Okay, we're gonna do this. Extra explosives attacks. Why not? Okay, that's really all I need. Uh, magma worm. Fun times. Is it just one? I think it's just one. Oh, yeah, he's gonna die. Oh, yeah, he died. Yep, yep. He tried, but he was not good enough, guys. Oh, hello, lemur. Oh, big lemur. Look at this missile storm. Like I said, it breaks the game. It's interesting, but it kind of takes the fun out of it. But, you know, it's fun from time to time. And they basically just run around let the missiles do all the work. Oh gosh, look at all that. You know, I honestly might just have to switch to doing only Pokemon card openings on these streams, because they get, like, no interactivity when I'm playing games. The problem is, that's expensive. I can't afford to do that every stream. I'd only be able to stream, like, once every couple of weeks. Because, like, I can only do, like, what, I did maybe 20 packs in an hour, which 20 packs, that's kind of a lot, you know? Especially, like I said, given how hard it is to find, like, mixed packs nowadays... Because basically it's like I can only order like booster boxes and elite trainer boxes. Because anything else is like really hard to find. Oh, there's a large chest. I would not mind another red. Because it's only going to be like, what, five seconds until I get enough money? Oh, we are... We're shrining of the mountaining. Mountaining, shrining, whatever. We got this, guys. We'll be fine. I mean, everything is just dying anyways, so... Uh, we still need a hundred more. Oh, that was close. Yikes. Ah, oh, and it's another red! Oh, gosh, what are we doing? What are we doing? We're gonna do another afterburner. Give me lots of dodges. Oh, I should have done an alien head. I didn't even think about that. Mm. Oh, well. Hindsight 2020, right? Give me another one. <laughs> Dory, hush! Yeah, no, I hear you. They're minding their own business, you mind your business. Yeah, I know. Dory, you need to stop that. They're not bothering you. Yeah, I know. They're outside, they're not bothering you, it's fine. I know, you can whimper all you want, doesn't make a difference. Yeah, they're not doing anything wrong. You're just being a rude little puppers. Mm-hmm. Story hush. Oh my god, this freaking dog. Oh, don't fall through. Uh, let's get some more bleed. Yeah, not that many uh, chests on this map, so I'm just gonna go ahead and... What are you whining about over there? She's being a little pupper, but... Oh look, more magma worms. Oh, there's four of them this time. That's fun. Well, I just gotta keep dodging. Dory, quit your whining. Oh, well the bosses are dead. That's just everyone else that has to die. Okay, how many of those do I have? I have ten. I feel like one more couldn't hurt.
Yes, everyone dies. Look at it! Look at it! All the missiles! Oh my god. This really is game-breaking. Like, you can still die if you're not careful, because you're still fragile, but... I mean, I don't have to shoot anything. I can just sit here and let the rockets do the work. Okay. Huzzah! Look at all of it. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah, I think once I get through this run, that'll be the uh, end of the stream. I think my, my doggo dory needs to go out, so... Shouldn't be too much longer. Just, what, three more levels, I think? Come on. Come on. Let's go. Alright, really quick, where is the teleporter? Because this is where stuff starts to get really bananas. Oh, it's over here. Alright, here we go. No shenanigans, just straight to the portal. Uh, there's a blue orb. I don't need a blue orb, though. That's one of them down. And, okay, the bosses are down, so now I just have to survive. Uh, let's get some guillotines. I haven't been stacking guillotines yet. Definitely gonna need those for the elites and the elite bosses that are bound to start spawning soon. Uh, I heard something pop. Oh, hey, Lunar Coin. Nice. Always good to replenish those. Who is that? That's a broken emergency drone. I could actually use that. Hmm. I think I'm going to grab that as soon as the teleporter's charged, just in case. Emergency drone is like a healing drone, except it's a lot better and it can heal multiple targets at the same time. So including you and your drones, and if you're playing with other people, can heal them too. Let's go. Come on. This thing is taking forever to charge. It takes too long. I do not like it. I need it to charge faster. Come on, 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 come on. Charge. Charge. Oh, it is charged. Okay, here we go. Emergency drone. I don't need the blue portal, honestly. Let's just get out of here. Two more levels. Boom. Alright, making progress, guys. Making progress. Ah! Everything's exploding! Alright, where's the portal? Uh... There's a Beetle Queen. Hello, Beetle Queen. Goodbye, Beetle Queen. Uh, where... Oh, wait, I see glowy things, glowy things. There it is! Portal, go! Uh, more Beetle Queen. I feel like 90% of the bosses have been Beetle Queens today. Have we had any other bosses in this playthrough? I think it's been all Beetle Queens. I mean, I'm not going to complain. The Beetle Queen is honestly one of the easiest bosses. Uh, where is the other Beetle Queen is the question. I don't know, but she just died, so... Tis irrelevant, I suppose. Give me more guillotine. And now we just wait. Oh, it's a drone. Nice. I can always use more drones. Oh my gosh, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> oh, excuse me. Moi, je suis un cochon. That is uh, French, in case you didn't know. I used to be, like, conversational level French. Uh, back in middle school, and then I forgot the majority of it. I still remember a few words and phrases, though. 
but I also used to know the Hokey Pokey in French. I don't know why my teacher decided to teach us that, but it's one of the few things that actually stuck with me up here. No, I'm not doing it, because I have some semblance of pride. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's, okay, so that, there's nobody watching right now, but that's okay. I, like I said, my plan for this year is to get my YouTube channel to the partner program, which is 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours total watch time for this year. If we can do that, if we can get to, if we can get to that within a year, I will do the Hokey Pokey in French for you all. I am, I'm saying that now. Again, there's nobody watching, but we're going to be putting this on YouTube. I'll probably mention it tomorrow in my anniversary stream. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Okay, that's going to be... Because I was trying to figure out what could I do to, like... As a, as a reward for the channel, as far as getting to the partner program, which is, you know, again, 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours, watch, watch hours. So that's what we'll do. We'll do the Hokey Pokey in French for you guys. It's dumb and embarrassing, but for me it's worth it if we can get to that point, guys, because that is, that would be monumental, honestly. Like, I was, I was impressed with how much progress we've made this year already, but if we can get to the partner program in, within the next year, just that would blow my mind so let's uh let's definitely aim for that oh this is last level nice cool very nice all i gotta do is survive oh god that's not good those guys explode and deal a massive amount of damage oh i didn't realize they were spawning already that's horrifying oh god okay Oh, they should make those a boss. That would be terrifying. Ooh. Oh, hey, there's the big drone over there. Too bad I'm not going to have a chance to use it. It's a really cool drone. Come on, 97, 98, where is it? There's the portal, let's go! Obliterate! Excuse me. Hey, okay, we did it. So now I just gotta go to the portal doohickey thing. obliterate there we go and we did it guys we did it like i said easy easy exploit once you have the right items i'm not a fan of it it's goofy as all hell and it's kind of fun but you know for people who actually want to beat the game i recommend beating it by normal methods anyways i think that's going to do it for this stream guys thank you so much for hanging out uh like i said just as a reminder uh thursday tomorrow the 14th uh, I'm going to be doing a stream probably on YouTube to celebrate the anniversary of the channel. Um, so hang out there if you can, guys, and we will see you all in the next video.